Today I'm going to talk about TwinSafe Backup and Restore functionality. Uh, to get started, I've done a few things already. We already have a functional TwinSafe project up and running. Uh, I've downloaded and installed the EL6910 Backup and Restore Library and added it to the references inside of my PLC project. My PLC project is currently running on a software version 1 EL1918 with a 2904 output. So the first thing I'm going to do is go offline and we'll go to the target system of my safety project. Underneath backup and restore, I'm going to activate backup and restore in the project and then I'm going to store the project CRC in the slave, in this case the EL2904. Next I'm going to add a little bit of PLC code. Through the magic of copy and paste, I'm going to instantiate my variables. Let's take a look at what we've got. I'm instantiating three function blocks, save logic program, delete logic, and restore logic program. These are the three function blocks that are in the library that we previously installed. For my variables, I'm going to have a variable to start the backup. Uh, I need the AMS net ID of the EL1918, where we're running the logic, as well as the port. There's going to be an internal buffer for both the backup and the restore while it's operating. And then I need the local AMS net ID of the target. So this is going to be the net ID of the CX that we're actually using, not of the device to Ethercat network, but the target itself right here. Uh, under the delete, we're going to have a start delete bit. Uh, delete done, delete result, delete error, and then uh, similar functionality for the restore block. So now let's go ahead and add in the code. So we can see I've got the save block, delete block, and restore block all instantiated. So let's go ahead and build this. Under the PLC instance, I can go to the two input variables that I created, the EL1918 port, and link that to the port of the EL1918. And then we're going to go get the AMS net ID of that EL1918 as well. Uh, one thing I want to point out, I did choose uh, hard disk safety backup twin safe project. This is going to be the path in the CX that we're going to use. I have a uh, Windows CE remote viewer available here. So underneath hard disk, I created a folder called safety backup and there's currently nothing inside it. We'll take, we'll see this a little bit later when we actually do a backup. So now I'm going to download my safety and I'm also going to do an activate on the configuration. Now I'm going to log into my PLC and we can see that we're running. Let's head over to our TwinSafe group and we're back and run again. The first thing we're going to do is back up the project. So under start backup, I'm going to prepare a value of true. We'll write that. And we can see that the TwinSafe logic program was successfully stored. If I bring over my CX remote desktop, we can now see that I have this TwinSafe project file, which is the bin file, the actual executable that operates in the uh, terminal, is now available. Now we're going to imagine that we had a failure. So I'm going to turn off my CX. I'm going to remove the EL1918. I'm going to replace it with another EL1918 with software version 1. Power back up. And TwinCat is in run again and I'm reconnected. And log into my PLC and my TwinSafe group. You can see we can't go online. There's nothing on this. Uh, there's nothing on this terminal. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do an FB delete. And the reason that we're doing that, 
This is the default CRC that comes in an EL 1918. Any twin safe device that has logic on board as well as IO is gonna have a default CRC that's not zero. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna zero this out. So underneath start delete, I'm gonna prepare a value. Deleting of safety of twin safe program successfully done. If I go back into my target, we see that we've zeroed out the project CRC. Next thing we're going to do, prepare value, start delete, turn that bit off, and we're going to start restore. And we can see that our restore was successful here. Now, if we go back into our twin safe group, put our group back in run, we're operational again. So in this case, we took a software version one, replaced it with a software version one terminal, deleted the project, restored the project, and we're back in run again. Now we're going to take the next step and replace this terminal with a software version two. So now I'm going to power down my system again, remove the EL1918, and I'm going to replace it with a software version two version of the product. Power back up. And we're running and connected again. Now if I log into my PLC again, we can see I'm running. If I go to my twin safe group, I can't go online. So now I'm going to start delete again. And I'm going to execute a restore. Now, if we look at the terminal, we can see that we have diag lights two, three, and four all turned on. This means a global shutdown has occurred. Basically, we pushed a mismatched version of the software uh, into the terminal, but because we're backward compatible, this error is resettable. So again, all we're going to do now is power cycle. You can see I didn't even give the CX time to shut down fully. I'm just really resetting the terminal itself. So now if I go back into my twin safe group, we can set our project back to run and we're fully operational. So in this case, we're taking a newer version of the terminal, replacing an older one that had failed with the exact same software, no changes in the CRC. I hope you found this helpful.